All right, let's go to some quick ways to make some cash then. Let's go to Monsanto, sort of in the same space, going to benefit from those higher corn prices. Got an upgrade yesterday. What's the trade? I got to take a quick look because I've been watching POT and CF. Let's look at Monsanto. I don't like it. I think you stick with POT and you stick with CF if you need a trade in this group. All right, how about Intel? Closed up almost 3%. We have Broadcom's announcement, purchase of NetLogic, boosted all the chip stocks. Are you in? Yesterday we talked about it, or two days, yesterday, yesterday we said, you, know, you, meeting, yeah. you want to buy on weakness, I still think it's okay, you could be there, just don't get so, you know, frisky with it because it's not going to move that quick. Yes, it was a big day for it, it might need some time. What about Qualcomm? Same thing, need some time, it was up 2% Monday. Well, well, Qualcomm's been a leader, Qualcomm actually moves when it wants to, I haven't traded it lately, let me take a quick look to see, you know, it held a bit higher, I showed you some stocks near the lows, I would say Qualcomm, for a quick trade, needs to start getting above yesterday's high. Probably opening down with the milk market today. I'd be a buyer through yesterday's high for a quick trade, and that's about 51.45, 51.50. All right, let's go to Win. We talked about Las Vegas Sands yesterday, but I just want to hit on Win. Uh, we have the Nevada Gaming Control Board reporting some pretty solid July casino revenues. Not everything was positive, but some things were. That was pretty solid. So, how would you be trading Win? This group has been good. Win yesterday was the first one to go up. It was up two bucks. Gave us some clues that we could actually go positive. It closed up on the highs. If you take a quick look at Win. I like it. I like it for a macro trade too. I think guys are going to be looking at this. If this starts getting above 155, this could be the first one going back to highs. I like it for a macro trade and momentum. And I also like LVS. LVS, I think, can get some traction if it starts getting through 48. What about Goldman? You want to avoid that? It got a, an it initiated equal weight at Morgan Stanley today. Well, Goldman went through 100. I was actually shorted yesterday when that happened, and I didn't see it have that huge fall. The volatility didn't come there, so that gave me some signs that it could be oversold enough for a bounce. I don't love it, you know, for a macro long-term trade. There's still problems, but it can get back up to 105 for a quickie. And <laughs> for a quickie. And what the, in your last stock on the quick hits was Crocs, which was super surprising to me because we've never talked about that. So is that a good trade right now? You know, I have, I have friends that have been trying to pound the table for me to get long Crocs so many different times. I think I traded it from like 6 to 12. I'm like, ah, oh, it was at a dollar. I'm not going to it. And silently and underneath the surface, Crocs went all the way up to 32. You know, and it's you know still trying to hold higher. I would say for a short-term trade, this thing starts to get above 26.50, Seven, you know, you haven't moved back to 28, and if the market does get better, no reason why this isn't the game to, you know, to go back to those highs. It's holding up really well. It's pretty, pretty crazy to me.